Hey folks, welcome to the Wealth Transfer with TC. Today I'm going to be discussing the Shiba Inu project working with the World Economic Forum. Now this news came out uh, several weeks ago and I briefly mentioned it on the Patreon uh, that I wasn't too happy about uh, some of this information that came out and but then there was something that actually changed my mind and I'll go ahead and get into that. But first, before I get started, I am not a financial advisor. I am just sharing information, giving you my thoughts and my opinions on that information. And if you guys like these videos that I make, the support links are down below in the description and also the about section of YouTube. I want to have the values not of Davos imposed on us, but of places like Destin and Dunedin, where I grew up. Um, things like the World Economic Forum, uh, those policies are dead on arrival in the state of Florida. Uh, we are not going to go down that road. All right, folks. So this article that came out uh, more than several weeks ago says here, Shiba Inu developer says WEF wants to work with project to help shape metaverse global policy. Shitoshi reported Shiba Inu could work alongside Facebook and Decentraland by working on a metaverse global policy at the World Economic Forum. Now, the first thing is I want to discuss the metaverse, and I don't plan on partaking in the metaverse. I don't care about the metaverse, and I think most people that listen to this channel don't care about the metaverse, uh, but it is something that is going to come down the line in the future, companies, uh, when you include Facebook and all, every single company that it's that has some type of metaverse team or project going on, you we're looking at probably over a trillion dollars that has been put in the metaverse over the last couple of years. All right, and many of those companies have lost a lot of money because of all the money that was dumped into the metaverse. And right now, to be honest with you folks, I could care less about the metaverse and how it relates to cryptocurrency and all that. Yeah, that's fine and dandy, but it's also going to be detrimental to our society. So I don't support it at all whatsoever, and I could care less about the Shibaverse and all that, but that's just my opinion. And I see the effects of the metaverse right now on children, videos and information out there, how it's already having an effect on our youth. And we know how some of these things like uh, certain types of video games and you know what they're pushing in, in the school systems and so forth, it's already having an effect on our society and the youth that is coming up. The other thing is that people need to understand about the World Economic Forum and what their agenda is and what they stand for. And you can see some of these pictures, you know, they're most famous for pushing, you know, getting rid of like eating meat and replacing meat with bugs and so forth. And you heard about, you know, all of our farmland being bought up and so forth. Uh, and then you see what's going on across the world and all these other countries in farming. And they're trying to get rid of the farming, right? And so they can replace their agenda with what we currently, how we do things now, right? They want to get rid of meat, want to get rid of the cows, they want to replace it with bugs, okay? And we know that there are many world leaders that are involved with the WEF, right? It's a fact, and they meet together all the time discussing how they're going to change the world, right? And as Mr. Schwab puts it, penetrate the cabinets. Also, too, I just want to remind you in the comments uh, to please be respectful, uh, especially concerning this video right here. So if I feel like it's going to attract too much negative attention, then I will have to delete the comment. But I just ask you to be respectful and put in your opinion so on Twitter, Shitoshi posted this tweet and he said, Sheep Army, I need a quick vote. We have been kindly invited to work with the World Economic Forum as it pertains to their global metaverse global policy. Would love to know what you all think because it's not our decision but yours. 62% said yes, 27% said no, 10% doesn't matter to me. So obviously, 72% of people don't understand what their agenda is and what they do. You know, I think some people probably voted yes because they're so desperate for Shiba Inu to have some type of catalyst that they'll take just about anything. Now, my original thought was, you know what? If the World Economic Forum is going to get involved with Shiba Inu, you know, they're going to try to do something to try to destroy it. I pretty much think that these guys know, uh, they have to know, 
what's going on with what God wants to do with Shiba Inu and the wealth transfer. And so with them getting involved, I was very disturbed by it at first. And then this article came out and something clicked in me. This article that came out December the 2nd, New Whale becomes 66 biggest after adding 648 billion Shiba Inu. And of course, the number 66 sticks out to me. We know that the agenda that they are promoting, 2030, you will own nothing. That is their agenda. But the ultimate agenda is the mark, right? And the ushering in of the evil one. And that 66 rep represents something to me uh, because, you know, they shaved down the Bible from 88 books to 66 books, right? And God doesn't make any mistakes. The original Bible came out and people back then, you know, this was the word of God. And they shaved off so many books off the Bible, which is very interesting how they ended up on 66, right? And it just was just a few hundred years ago where it was 80 books were in the Bible, right? So God doesn't make mistakes, but not to get off topic. So when I saw that 66 and I remembered that all the times back in November and December and January and February, all these whales adding Shiba Inu, right? But yet the price was still going down, but yet... These whales, multi-millionaires or billionaires, all these wealthy elites were putting in money into Shiba Inu. Now, I'm not saying all of them are the bad elites. They're, I'm pretty sure there might be uh, some good elites that uh, want to partake within the wealth transfer. But they're going to do everything they can to destroy it. They have to know that God is using this for his wealth transfer. And they're so arrogant that they're going to try to bring this project down, try to destroy crypto in general, right? because the enemy knows that what God is going to do with Shiba Inu. So what actually clicked in me was, let them be involved with the project. Let them invest in the project. Let them think that they're going to be able to destroy the project because we're going to take their wealth from them as well. So that's what came to me. And so then um, I was just prompted to go ahead and make this video and, you know, share my share some of my thoughts on this. And people need to understand what's getting ready to come down the line. And this wealth transfer is one of the most important things that's going to happen in this earth as far as the history of the human race and what God is going to do before the return of Christ. It's going to be massive. So basically, I just changed my mind and said, you know what, let him. That'll be good for us, you know, because now we know that they're paying attention. Now we know they're watching. So anyways, folks, I just wanted to share some of my thoughts on this. I wouldn't have made a video about it, um, but I felt like that it was necessary. So thank you guys for listening. God bless. TC out.